This is Julia, Reference Librarian at McAllen Public Library. Welcome to Creative Tech, where we'll be looking at ways that technology and design can make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So today we're going to go over a really fun online tool. Uh, it's the Adobe Color Tool. Uh, this is what professional graphic designers use for their work, but uh, it's a lot of fun. You don't need to be a professional graphic designer to use it. Uh, it's great for um, uh, for um, things that you might want to make for fun also, like uh, flyers, uh, newsletters, um, websites, blogs, uh, anything where you're, where you're choosing the colors for it, uh, you can use this tool to help choose the uh, colors that look good together. Uh, like for example in Microsoft Publisher or uh, WordPress, a lot of other, um, a lot of design programs when you go to the advanced color settings, uh, there's going to be a, a place where you can put like a code for a, for a color. Uh, and that's what this is for. This is where you choose the colors and get the codes for it that you can put into other design programs. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so over here on the left are the color harmony rules. Um, we won't go, not really going to go over those in too much uh, detail, but it's different, um, uh, different, uh, basically color, color rules for colors that look, uh, that look good together. Um, uh, so we'll just try a few of these so you can see how it works. Um, monochromatic means colors that are all, uh, well, colors that are all in the same, um, uh, basically the same, same color, but just different, uh, like different shades of it, kind of. Um, uh, so anyway, what you, you can choose uh, any of the color rules here that you, uh, that you want to try out. Triad will show you three colors that look good together. Um, complementary is colors that are opposite from each other on the color wheel. So, you know, like how red and green always look good together, blue and yellow always look good together. That's because they're opposite from each other on the color wheel. And split complementary is uh, similar, except it's three colors. Double split complementary is uh, what you can see there. Square is four colors. Compound is uh, compound is well what you see there. Um, so anyway, I'm not a professional graphic designer. Graphic designers know more exactly about what all this means, but it is still fun to play with. Um, so what you do is you choose the color rule that you want to use, and then you can uh, slide any of these circles around until you find a color combination uh, that you like. Uh, so, like, let's say, for example, that you like, uh, let's say you like that color combination. You can go, when you make, you can make an account for free. Um, and once you make an account, you can save the color combinations so that you can remember them for later, um, have all of the codes for later. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, this is where all of the codes are. Um, so like in Publisher, uh, all the design programs, these numbers up here, the pound and then the six, um, six numbers and letters, that's the code that you need to put into the other programs. Um, and there are different color modes. Um, if you, you don't really need this for most, uh, most applications, but you can change the color mode and it'll show you the numbers for each uh, specific um, specific uh, like shade in the in the color. Um, and so up here you can save your color combination and you can give it a name. Uh, this one's called my color theme. Uh, if you if you leave this on published to color, it's going to publish the color combination for other people to see. Uh, you can turn that off if you don't want to share it. And then you click on save. And then up here, you go to libraries, my library, and all of the color combinations that you have saved are going to be there. So you can see I have these two that are saved. Uh, another fun thing that you can do is you can, um, you can upload a upload a photo, um, an image of anything, and it'll tell you what the colors are 
for that um, for that photo, and then you can reuse those colors for for other applications. Uh, so we'll give that a try. So you go up to extract theme up here at the top, and you upload your your image file. Um, so I am using. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Um, I am using this image as an example. Uh, what this is good for is like, let's say you're making a website or a newsletter or a flyer and you, you're you featuring a certain photograph on it and you want the other colors that you're using on the site to match the photo and look good with the photo, that's exactly what this is for. You upload the photo and then it'll tell you the color codes, uh, the number color numbers that you should use uh, for whatever your design program you're using. And just like the other ones, you can save it um, to remember it later. Uh, so we'll do save. And then you can see that one is up here again in my library. And last but not least, there is a fun color game that they have up here. This is just for fun, but you do start and you remember the colors that are getting uh, flashed. So let's see how far I can get with this. Oops, looks like I messed up already. But anyway, that's just a, it's a fun game and a fun, a fun tool that you can use um, for your own, uh, your own design projects and you do not have to be a professional graphic designer to make something that looks really great. This was Julia and thank you for watching. Be sure to follow MPL Adults on Facebook and McCown Public Library on YouTube and don't miss any of our virtual programs.